Hey commanders, welcome back to my channel. Once again it's Spooky Akeno Misaki from World of Warships Blitz Asia. Today I will be showcasing you guys the World of Warships Blitz Aircraft Carrier Update 1.9 which most of you had been ranting, swearing, cursing and keep blaming the developers why, why and why nerfing the aircraft carrier itself. Alright so before I begin with this, kindly remember just to help me by hitting the subscribe button to help me achieve my 450 subscribers. It will be very appreciated if you all could do that. Now let's see, ah uh, yes why the developers decided to nerf the aircraft carrier? Well the answer is in fact they didn't nerf the aircraft carrier itself. It just all your mind said who thought aircraft carrier was nerfed. The truth is majority of you who came after update 1.1.0 surely did not know that there was this gameplay mechanism called torpedo arming distance. It required at least minimum of 500 meter to launch your torpedo and arm it to deal damage on it. Anything less than 500 meter are known as dud torpedo which will deal zero damage on it. So why did the developers decided to have torpedo arming distance being introduced? Well the answer is to try to stop an encouraging of commanders who being doing point blank range torpedo on their opponent force with any ships that is mounted with torpedo armament on it. This will ensure that capital ships such as battleship and aircraft carrier have more survival chances and engaging back towards the enemy. However for the update 1.9 itself. The torpedo arming distance range was being significantly increased which it majorly affected the aircraft carrier itself but not on the torpedo boats and ships on it. This was also being confirmed by the developer too and we tried to ask for the total distance of increased range but the developer say it was an internal value range change from 5 to 6 and it cannot be converted into a meter or kilometer number itself. Secondly there was also a game bug that occurred way back in update 1.8.0 itself. This bug was mainly for aircraft carrier. The torpedo trail of the torpedo planes from aircraft carrier were happened to be released way early before the anticipate of the waypoint itself. As you can see from the GIF itself, the torpedo trails from the torpedo planes were released way too early before the marking waypoint on it to be released. This resulted me to panic and need to take the evasive actions as soon as possible before this torpedo could hit me on it. Because of this 1.8.0 bug most of the aircraft carrier commanders will have ease up on taking out enemy destroyers, cruisers and battleship on it. That triggered to the reason why most of you think the torpedo for 1.9.0 got nerfed however it not but just a game bug occurred and developer rectified on it. As you can see from the image itself, the developer managed to fix the torpedo trail bug back on update 1.8.0. So with this bug rectified the torpedo should be now doing what it should be. So with everything being explained into detail. Now let us get to the gameplay part where I will be telling you guys the tricks and tips on how to play as an aircraft carrier commander itself and also the new torpedo mechanism on it. So now let begin with imagine I will be using my tier 8 Imperial Japanese Navy aircraft carrier Shokaku for it. So firstly to know what you are doing? Always launch dive bombers first. Why? Because dive bombers launch more faster than torpedo planes and fighter planes itself also it has the speed and momentum to reach the target itself. After done on launching the dive bombers now a time to launch the torpedo bombers and fighter squadron itself. After that then set them to fly one place to find a enemy ship which most preferable is enemy destroyer on it. Because enemy destroyer like Yuguma pack with a torpedo and its ship concealment is up so it will be best to take it down as soon as possible to save your team from a trouble on it. So what is the circle in the torpedo bombers for? According response from the developer itself it a feature to assist aircraft carrier commander to aim more better on it. So basically it a indicator to tell you how far to mark your torpedo bombers waypoint on it. As an aircraft carrier commander it always prefer for you to move your ship but also as well commanding your air squadrons as well. It not an easy task but it a challenge for it but as your practice more and more you will get a hang of it. As you can see I prefer to drop my torpedo further away from the waypoint itself. Why? The reason is this will ensure that my torpedo will be armed and also easily to be hit on enemy ship on it. So for the second gameplay itself you all will be seeing me engaging my fleet mate Blitz who using a tier 8 Imperial Japanese Navy Shokaku aircraft carrier as well. So let us see how this goes. <laughs>
As you can see I pretty much love to put my waypoint further than the usual one and why? All thanks to the new circle feature it really assisted me a lot to tell me the minimum distance for my torpedo to be dropped and armed before could be count as damage on it. As again I would always like to set my drop point further away from the usual waypoint so this will ensure my torpedo always dropped correctly and able to detonate and cause damage on enemy ship itself. Why battleship command here a tip don't always go lonely or solo on yourself if not you will either be ambushed by enemy aircraft carrier, destroyer or cruiser with torpedo on it. So apparently I lost track of my torpedo bombers because I was my arranging my fighter squadron to cover up my teammate destroyer and it resulted to the second squadron of my torpedo bomber miss three quarter of their ordinances. Time to hunt my fleet mate Blitz who being the aircraft carrier for the enemy team itself. And there we go found him at least now time to launch everything we have on him to take him down. Look like we are out of time however we won this game so that a decisive victory for me and my team itself. Well I hope this will explain the aircraft carrier update 1.9.0 and the new torpedo mechanism changes itself. Now sit back and enjoy watching some excitement of my aircraft carrier gameplay before I end it off.
Before I end it off, for those who are World of Warships Blitz Asia Server Commanders, feel free to hop into this group to interact with other Asia Server Commanders. Share your gaming experience and wonderful excitement battle screenshots in there too. Once again thanks for watching my World of Warships Blitz Update 1.9.0 Aircraft Carrier and Torpedo Mechanism Gameplay Video. Remember don't forget to click the like and subscribe button for more excitement gameplay video coming in the future. So once again thanks very much and this is Spooky Akenomi Saki here signing off now.